Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. This is day nine of Vitality. And so this is the last day of this chunk. There's going to be five days of a gap and then we start again next Monday. I have a seminar starting tomorrow for five days. Um, yeah, today we're going to be balancing with our stones and uh, or whatever it is that you have. Uh, there's so many options. And um, yeah, how do we balance and offer and hold things? Yeah, it was just really interesting the inquiry this morning and then legs. We're going to be working into our legs today. Um, so come lie on the floor and we shall begin. Um, I'm all good. Yes. Uh, one second. Great. Come. So lying on your back, your knees are bent. Land. What is this moment in your body? Nice. So reach your arms overhead, stretch your legs out long, and just feel like you're getting as long as you can. Reaching into your toes, reaching into your fingers. Feel like you've just woken up. <laughs> Some of you probably have. So just reach really long into your body. And then reach long into the left arm, left foot. And feel how the right side is getting shorter. And then reach long into the right arm, right foot. And then just do that from side to side. Left side lengthening. And then right side lengthening. Left side lengthening. And then right side lengthening. And then try opposites. Left foot, right hand, reaching. And then right foot, left hand, reaching. And then try that a few times. Opposites from each other are reaching. And so it's actually the natural way that we walk, but there isn't as much length in it this way. But it does feel very connected in my body, in my walk. Nice. Pause, let that rest. And then reach again, right arm, right leg. And how long can you get into your toes? How far can you reach into your fingers? How deeply super. So I'm even shortening the left side. I'm gonna bring my left arm down beside me and I'm reaching even more into the right side. And then let, let that rest. Both arms overhead, both legs long. And then reach long into the left side. Bring your right arm long beside you so you can shorten your right side and reach super, super long into the left side. And then come back. Nice. Bend both knees. Bring your feet to the floor. And then from here, draw your right knee up onto your chest and squeeze it deeply up towards you. And as you do this, let your bum lift off the floor. And then reach your arms overhead and lengthen your right leg long into zoomies. So your zoomie leg can be low or it can be at a 45 degree angle. And draw your knee up towards you. And then lengthen long into your leg. And pull your knee up towards you. And lengthen long. One more time. Pull your knee up towards you. And lengthen long. Nice. Other side. Draw your left knee up towards you. Squeeze it in. And then stretch it long. Draw your left knee up towards you. Squeeze it in. Long. Last one. Left knee up towards you. And long. Nice. We're going to do a thing called dead bug. <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing sometimes. Sometimes not. So lift both hands towards the ceiling, bend both knees and she bend both knees. So your knees and bend both elbows. So my elbows are directly above my shoulders and my knees are directly above my hips. And then just touch your right foot to the floor. Come back. Touch your left foot to the floor. Come back. Touch your right hand to the floor. Come back. And touch your left hand to the floor. Come back. So we're going to do right hand, right foot. Come back. 
left hand, left foot. So keep your elbows and knees bent in the beginning and just stabilize. How do you not move anything except for the arm and the limb that are moving, the arm and the leg that are moving? Nice. From now, next time that you lengthen, you're going to stretch it long. And bring it back up. Stretch it long. And bring it back up. Stretch it long. Up. And stretch it long. Up. So now we're going to do opposites. Keeping your knees and elbows bent. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Knee and elbow are bent. Left hand, right hand. And then you're going to lengthen. Opposite hand and leg lengthen. Come back up. Opposite hand and leg lengthen. Come back up. Opposite hand and leg. Up. Opposite hand and leg. <laughs> Bring both feet to the floor. Oh, and just rock your knees from side to side. Oh, first thing in the morning. <laughs> just feel that as you rock from side to side. Um, there's a word in French called détente. Uh, which is kind of like, like, oh, relax. And so as I, it's like, for me, it has this kind of like, poof, like, l l let it all go, you know? And so as you rock your knees from side to side, just, whew, just feel the sense of something like before we were stabilizing. Now we're just mobilizing. Okay. Nice. Come back to center and just pause. Last movement on the floor. We're going to do gliders. So drop your knees down towards the right and then glide your left knee up in the direction of your right shoulder and then come all the way back. And then the right knee up in the direction of the left shoulder and back and just travel from side to side. Whatever version of gliders that you do. So that could be where it's a rocking of your knees and a small lift of your foot, or a rocking of your knees and a long, deep lift of your foot. I'm imagining that my shoulder blades are glued to the floor and the backs of my arms are really heavy. And as a result, I'm actually feeling more work happening up into my rib cage, into my chest, into the sides of my neck. Very subtle, but really nice. I almost feel that as I travel, that that side of my face, as my left knee travels across, that the left side of my face and neck stabilize and ground me as my knee travels. It's like an anchoring that happens in that side of my body. And that feels really wholesome and wonderful. Nice, come back to center. Pause. Nice. So roll over and come into your cat pose. So we're going to do dead bug pose, but in cat pose. <laughs> Sometimes it just sounds so funny. <laughs> Me all alone here with Bear talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> anyways okay great so your hands are on the floor your knees are on the floor and then lengthen your left leg out and bring your right fingertips to the floor so your toe and fingers are on the floor okay and then pull your elbow back and pull your knee up so you have to stabilize so touch and then pull back and you might find that you have to keep your toe on the floor to pull your elbow back or you might find that you have to keep your hand on the floor to bring your knee forward. Just see, how do you move your hand and your knee? How do you stabilize here? Cool, try the other side. Left foot, left 
hand is on the floor, right foot is on the floor, and then pull your elbow in, draw your knee up, touch the floor, pull it up, touch the floor, touch the floor. Super. So we're going to go a bit higher. So last time the focus is on the pulling in. Next time the focus is going to be on the lifting up. So right hand is forward, left foot is back, and then lift up with your hand and your foot, and then just touch the floor. Lift up with your hand and foot, and touch the floor. Up, touch the floor, up, touch the floor. Nice, other side. Left hand is forward, right foot is back. Up, touch the floor. Touch the floor one more time. Up, touch the floor. Cool, and sit your bum back. Come back into your child's pose. And just feel the settling, the dropping. Super. Push back into your downward dog, all the way back. Just stretch into your legs. Lift your heels, drop your heels. And as you do so, grab the floor with your toes as you lift your heels. So have your toes really active as you lift and as you drop. Lift and drop. Lift, drop, lift. Drop, drop your heels towards the floor, bend your knees. So now it's the back of your legs. Heels towards the floor, bend your knees. Heels towards the floor, bend your knees. One more time. Heels towards the floor. <laughs> Walk your thumb all the way forward. Come rest your elbows on your knees and then just wiggle your toes. Can you widen your baby toes out? Can you create spaces between all your toes? Lift all your toes, grab the floor. Lift all your toes, grab the floor. Lift, grab, pause in the grabbing. Nice, rise all the way up. Bring, if you want to bring your hands to the wall or just do it freestanding and we're gonna do a calf lift 20 times. So one, two, three, and I'm really trying to go to the maximum. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, I love to count, 17, 18, 19, 20, nice. Lift one foot up, roll that ankle. And then roll in the other direction. Open and close your toes a few times. Other side. Lift and roll your ankle. Other direction. Open and close your toes. Nice, shake out one leg, shake out the other leg. Nice, so grab your stones and have your stones in your hands, both stones, both hands. And have your feet so they're a bit wider than hip distance apart. And to begin with, just start by turning your left foot to the left and then reach with your right hand across. So it's the opposite hand that has gone across. And maybe if you want to, 
you could reach so far that your right foot also lifts off the floor but it's in the gesture of reaching your right hand across that that happens Whoop. sorry my left hand has pulled back into lawnmower stay where you are <laughs> and then change turn your right foot towards the right and then reach your left hand across pulling your right elbow in as you reach you can have your toe on the floor of course see what's right and then begin to travel so you windscreen wiper your feet reach windscreen wiper your feet reach and see what is the biggest reach that you can do and what's the highest lift of your foot that you can do in wellness my torso is staying upright so the next time we go left we're going to pause pause find the standing foot deeply push down into the standing foot feel like you're taller through your spine point into that right foot reach into that right hand nice come all the way down change over to the right pause taller through your spine longer through that left side nice come all the way back cool so left hand goes left up maybe your right foot lifts because you're reaching so far come back and then right hand goes right And so I have this feeling of like, here you go, up in the tree. <laughs> Would you like a marshmallow? <laughs> I remember years ago um, in India, you know, watching um, a work team lifting cement to the top of the building. And they were literally like just swinging massive bowls of cement up like a little chain gang. Just remember like the power and the reach and the gestures and the coordination next time you go right pause whatever version of this you're doing whoop. and then next time you go left pause did you see the um, solar eclipse last night it's really cloudy here and I just assumed it was going to stay cloudy and then the sun came out and I realized oh I'd missed the eclipse so I missed it um it's funny nice come back to center drop down your rocks reach your arms up towards the ceiling bring your palms together feet are together bend your elbows bend your knees so your palms are into prayer position and then bring your left elbow across to the outside of your right knee and twist towards the right. Breath is in your belly. Bring your elbows back to center. Tall. And then bring yourself back down to prayer position. <laughs> bring your right elbow across to the left side. Twist towards the left. <laughs> Last night I had a fight with a goose and a gander. So outside our kitchen window, there's the nest. <laughs> come all the way up. I'll tell you the rest of the story now. And then come all the way down and sit on the floor. So the... Um, we keep taking the eggs because we don't want them to sit on their eggs because if they sit on the eggs the fox just comes and eats them in the night roll your ankles again so they've been laying eggs maybe around six weeks now we just keep gathering the eggs gathering the eggs and at some point they start to want to sit even though there's no eggs in the nest so last night the goose was sitting in the nest so pull your right foot back until it's close towards your bum bring your right hand forward towards your left foot 
So I'm like, oh no, the goose is sitting on the nest. <laughs> So at this stage, if it's sitting on the nest, you have to block the nest because even if you shoo it away, it'll just come back. So last year I bought a, um, a, a wheelbarrow. So then last night I put my Pilates ball <laughs> on the nest, but I had to get the goose off the nest and the gander came up and oh my God, it was really, it was quite a big fight. Me, the goose, the gander with a, with a Pilates ball. <laughs> it was crazy. Drop your head down deeper. How deeply can you drop your head down? Reaching through that left arm. No, stabilizing through the left arm, reaching through the right arm. Nice change. Bring your left foot as close to your bum as you can, and then reach your left hand down towards your right foot. Drop your head down. So then I'm outside with the geese and the dogs are going nuts inside because they're like, oh no, because they're very territorial of me. If the geese come near me, they're very <laughs> sensitive. So it was crazy. <laughs> you should have a, a note on our gate, you know, peaceful most of the time. <laughs> it's crazy. Drop your head down deeper, reach a bit further. Nice. Come lie on your back all the way down. Landing in. Hmm. Oh, my body feels really different than the beginning of the class. I feel loads of lines of connectivity, uh, loads of directions of possibility. When you scan from the top of your head, and you compare the size of the right side of your body to the left side of your body. Is there a difference in size and texture in tone in direction? Is there places like, like as if a cookie monster came along and took a bite of your cookie? Is there places that are missing or absent or just a bit vague? And just allow your breath to deepen into your belly. Just being whole, being here, being now with awareness, with present time awareness of now. Wow, my feet feel amazing. Wow. Super. So stay where you are. Pause there. So yeah, so this new experiment uh, of when I'm doing these big trainings that I'm not going to be teaching here. So I will see you all next Monday. I will be back here on the, what date is that? The 15th. Okay, so there's 18 days of this journey. And, um, but there's an archive, as you know, there's like a thousand and six, I was going to say a thousand and five uh, morning yoga classes. There's a month there's like literally there's like i think there's 60 sunday yums i'll put up the sunday yum uh, pa uh, playlist up on the yoga with cura facebook page so if you want to draw, go back and find some sunday yums if you want to go back and do ones that you've missed or ones that you like um so great i will see you all next monday bright and early and um yeah keep doing one minute of something you know look into the possibility of feel the resistance and so, yes, I read this amazing thing. So resistance before something can be procrastination type thing, okay? Whereas resistance during something is feedback. So yeah, so if you're, if you're like, oh, I don't know if I want to, no, no, and then you do it and you go, oh, that was amazing. That was so cool. I'm so glad I did that. Or you do something, you go, yeah, I don't know. So feedback is different than resistance. I thought that was very cool. Anyways. Um, I will see you all next Monday, bright and early. And um, thanks for joining me. And uh, yeah, I feel great after that. My feet feel great. Okay, ciao, ciao, salam. Mm -hmm.